Hey everyone, welcome back to the lookout. Working on a new um, video right now on um, some field work we did yesterday out in the Dixie Fire Burn, looking at the burn severity. So here's a little teaser. We're gonna drop the new video tomorrow morning. Uh, Eric has been working on a whole bunch of video editing, and we're up in our game here. Thanks uh, in large part to your donations, which allowed us to get some better software and have a little time to work on this stuff. So. Um, Here's a little fire video. It's a good fire video. Uh, after all this bad fire, and um, check out our new video tomorrow morning. Thanks, everyone. So this is a Dixie fire. Not all the flames you're gonna see are big and taking out towns or whole forests. You know, the media likes to show big flames and they'll go to great lengths to show you the biggest flames. No one really goes to great lengths to show you the smallest flames on the fire. But we're well inside the interior of the fire here and it rained last night, it rained like half an inch fire's pretty subdued and this is just going along cleaning up the forest floor right all this all this material is burning right now if it burned on a hot day with wind it would give us you know a lot hotter fire effects but when we talk about prescribed fire and good fire this is some good fire So we're at Willow Lake. This is right off the southern edge of Lassen Park. Uh, this is a place I've been coming since I was you know, seven or eight years old. And the fire did move through this whole area. There's a lot of big old growth fir trees here and sugar pine. And the fire kind of backed down here on the, on the south um, side of this mountain, Kelly Ridge. And so all these big trees are still alive. There's a pretty amazing bog here, um, a meadow that floats on the lake. And a lot of the big trees on the other side also survived. This is an area that's, that's needed to have fire for a long time. You know, they've needed to get prescribed burning in here to keep uh, the forest from being too thick. And so this is one of those places that um, we're fully within the perimeter of the Dixie Fire. This is actually pretty much exactly what this particular piece of land needed. So amidst all the really high severity and really devastating damage caused by the fire, I'm really relieved to see this particular spot uh, in such good shape. 